Hello and welcome back to the Science Fiction Vehicle. This is part two. I would like to thank Autodesk for sponsoring this series of videos and help me produce more great content for you guys. So last time, kind of introduction video to how you can work with splines. In this video, I'll show you some basic rigging and how we can pretty much set up a hydraulic piston as well. Let's go ahead and start with a cylinder. Let's give ourselves something like 16 sides. I find that's a good starting number. All right. I'm going to right click here, make sure this is set to 22.5 in the options. All right, press A to activate angle snap or click here and let's rotate that by nine degrees. All right, let's go into the modify tab and let's set this to a yellow color. All right, let's increase the height. All right, so we're going to have this. Then I'm going to press control V and we're going to create a copy of this. We're gonna, gonna move that here. We're gonna change the radius and we're gonna change the color as well. All right, now that we've got that, let's modify this as well. So I'm gonna apply a poly on top. I'm gonna select this and this. Now you can use inset on this. You can also simply scale on the Z and Y axis, holding down shift. All right, and then simply bridge. Now we have this hollowness here. All right, so now this can go inside of here. Now we need to set up two pivot points for this. So actually for this, I actually wanna close this up. So what I would do is insert a loop through here, and then I will select a polygon here, hold control, double click to get this, and then hold shift while scaling. And I'm pretty much gonna delete that. Double click on this. And pretty much what I would do is I'm going to select, I'm going to deselect these and bridge that. Select an edge here, ring, connect, and then just target well. To speed up the process for this, I can just hold shift, control shift, and then move to go into element, flip that, press S for snaps, and right click here, make sure it's set to vertex. I'm going to hold control and convert to Polygon selection to vertices, I'm going to snap this right here. And I'm going to select this and we're going to weld. All right, so now pretty much being limited to right here. All right, next what I need to do is to just use by angle. So what I'm going to do is just extrude this. I'm going to select this and I'm going to hold control and click on remove. What I'm going to do essentially is I'm going to use the cut tool like so. I'm going to weld just in case. And now I'm going to simply delete this and go into border level, select this and Alt P to cap. That's the default hotkey. If it looks a bit strange, all I have to do is select these vertices and connect. So we can also insert loops through here. Select these edges and move them. I am going to select this ring, connect, connect these. All right, so I'm also gonna switch this. If you're seeing this effect right here, you simply need to switch to model assist. All right, so we have, we have two quads here, but we have an end gone here. How do we fix that? Well, what I would do here is just is just select this right here and remove that. All right, there we go. Now let's apply symmetry as well. On the Y axis and flip that. All right, now we have this happening. This will look a lot better once we subdivide it, but I'm also gonna insert a loop for better subdivision right here. All right, we also need a hole through here. So what I will do is insert a loop here, double click on the loop to loop it. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hold down shift, left click, left click, left click, left click to get that. I'm going to inset right here. And what I'm going to do is to insert a loop through here I'm going to select these four. I'm going to hold shift while scaling. 
I'm going to use a script called the regularizer script, which I've set to a hotkey. I mean, you can just move this all the way here because symmetry will take care of that. So now we have a place to put another object here. What I like to do is that sometimes as you're modeling, you will have some smoothing groups and some polygons unsmooth, which creates this kind of effect. I can just apply a smooth modifier to even them all out. And that we can very easily see all of the individual faces. All right, we've got this. You can feel free to just Gonna modify this, you can make this longer or shorter like this. All right, I'm gonna go with something like that. For better subdivision, I'm also going to just use the cut tool, set up different loops here. I want insert loop here as well. Maybe one right there. All right. Now, in order to get something to hold this, I'm going to go into face level. I'm going to use by angle to select this. All right. I'm going to detach that as a clone. We now have a new object here. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to flip polygons. I'm going to give this a different object color, and I'm going to select this, and I'm going to move this out here. I'm going to reapply symmetry there. All right, next I want something to hold this. So I'm going to just copy the symmetry modifier. I'm going to select, let's say, turn off my angle. I'm going to select, let's say, these faces. I'm going to detach them as a clone. I'm going to select these edges and bridge that. Okay. And even remove this and we're going to apply a shell modifier we're going to paste the symmetry right back here and give this a different maybe object color as well actually we'll keep this as yellow we're going to move these vertices All right, something like that. Feel free just to give your object some extra quick detail just by doing some basic shoot right here. And I'm going to use the smooth modifier once again just to even things out here. Alt X for transparency. Planer on the Z axis here. And just kind of moving some things around to give this more visual interest. And symmetry on this as well. So sometimes a really nice thing to do is just to quickly strew this out and scale. Right, I'm going to select this right here and I'm going to effect pit only, send to the object and also set that to a hotkey as well. I'm going to select this object. I'm going to go into effect pit only. I'm going to press Alt A and then select this object that we just did that to, to set up the same pivot point. And what that will do is now we have this rotating around here. Don't forget to save. All right, we also need to set up a hole here as well. So what I'm simply going to do is to just extrude that. I'm gonna insert you know, two loops through here and I'm gonna insert loops through here. And what I'm going to do is to just select this, grow.
inset and then extrude. I'm going to scale that. All right, I'm going to isolate that. I can delete this and go on here since that part will not be visible. And I think I'll make this a separate object as well. So I'm going to detach that. Going to hold shift while scaling inwards here, insert a couple loops, and do the same right here. And also detach this as a clone. And I'm going to paste that modifier back here. There we go, I'll give this a different object color as well, just a little bit darker. I'm going to go ahead and reuse this as well. Press A for angle snap, rotate this by 180 degrees and just kind of move this over here. All right, at this point I'm going to save. I'm going to reset the X form for all of these. You can set it to a hotkey, but you can also go into here, reset X form, reset selected. If this is not available here, simply click on this button and find a reset X form right here and drag it into one of these empty buttons. You can also increase or decrease number of buttons right here. So now I've got X from one here. I just like to convert to edible poly. All right, now we're going to set up a basic rig. First, I'm going to center the pivot for this and we'll also make this the same. If I put only Alt A and then click on that. All right. Let's also apply symmetry on this as well. And actually before we rig this, let's set up the subdivision as well. So I'm going to select all this and just reset that. All right, we'll go into edges, we'll select them. Maybe we need to increase this number, all right. Hold control to add. So we need to increase this even more here. Create set. All right, let's apply open subdiv and test it out. And we can just add some edges here. Oh, we should close up this hole. All right, so what if we only want to work with, we've got crease set on all these objects. What if we only want to work with one object? Well, you we select that object. When you click on crease set edge, notice how I cannot work with other ones. If I want to work with them, I select that and then I can work with them. So it's a very convenient system here. So what I'm going to do is add some, and I'm going to update that. I'm going to select these, this one and one on the other side. I'm going to ring that and I'm going to subtract that. Right, now we've got that, I'm going to delete open subdiv. And so now we've got this basic hydraulic system. And so now what we need to do is rig this up because if I start moving this around, notice how there's no rigging happening here. So we need to set that up. So what we need to do is we need to select this right here and we're going to go into animation and then constraints and then look at constraints. And we're going to select, let's say this object right here. You can click on keep initial offset if you see it moving around. All right. We're also going to select this and we're going to link that right here. So now as this moves around, as you can see, it is pretty much looking at that. Right, we'll select this object. 
we do animation constraints look at constraint we'll also select this object so now if this object moves around they're both looking at it actually we're going to link this one to here and we're also going to give this object a look at constraint we're going to go into animation constraints look at constraints and select this one Keep the initial offset. All right, so as you can see, we now have this going on. If we move this, we're also going to link, let's say, this to here. All right, so now if I select this, move it around, you can see how it's following. And we've got this pretty much, we don't want to go out too far, of course, we now have this nice rigged system. All right, that's going to come in handy for just adding these kinds of hydraulic pistons all over our object. Thank you for watching and take care.